What's going on, people? Uh, I want to talk about something that has bothered me for many years. And this is very hypocritical when it comes to, you know, discussing standards that both men and women have. It's hypocritical. And the reason I say it's hypocritical, because it's OK for women to sit there and be picky and say, oh, I, I don't want a, a guy that look like this. Oh, he got to be over six feet tall. He got to make X, Y, or Z kind of money he got to have muscles he got to talk a certain way look a certain way i don't like nerds and nice guys um nice guys are garbage and and, and geeks are trash and all that now I, i've been hearing stuff like that for years right I, i've been hearing that stuff for years but let a man sit up here and say that he want a, a woman that's slender now you offending uh, uh overweight women let a man say he like a particular race of women Especially if if it's a black man saying he wants something other than a black woman, oh, it's a problem. You got black women attacking the black man. Then you got the women that the black man won't. They attacking the black man because they got feminist mentalities. You know, I've seen that many times. Let a, let a man sit up here and say that he want a woman that knows how to cook. Oh, I'm offended because you, because I got to learn how to cook and all that. And I'm not used to that. And I, 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 I don't, I'm not used to cooking. So it's like no matter what a man want, it's like women get offended. It, it, it come off offensive. Oh, if a man say, oh, I want a woman with long hair. Now you offending women that can't grow long hair. They have to put weave in their head. Or you offending women who had cancer and, and had to shave their head. And you offending women with short hair. It's like, my God. But it's okay for females to sit up here and talk about Mr. Right. Oh, I want a man. He has to be Mr. Right. You see it on Steve Harvey. You see it on a lot of dating uh, 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 segments on talk shows. You've seen it on Oprah. You've seen it. I'm sure, I'm sure Dr. Fielding has segments. You see it all the time where females, they're allowed to sit up here and say what they want, get no backlash. They can say, oh, I want a bad, a, a, a bad boy thug or something. Oh, I want a man that's rich. You can have a white woman talking about, oh, I want a rich white man. Or a black woman talking about, oh, I want a thug. You know, you, 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 we see this stuff all the time. But let, but let a black man sit up here and say, oh, I want X, Y, and Z kind of woman. It's an issue. And it's like, my God, why can't we be happy too? I noticed. That white men's dating preferences is never criticized. They 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 can sit up here and date whoever they want because white men, Hispanic men, Asian men, and all that. They a lot of them, from my experience talking to a lot of them, a lot of them feel entitled to the best looking women. And I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of them. And it's like black men. It's like society want black men not to have something good, like a, a woman that's good looking. They they okay with you having a woman that society views as unattractive. See, you know what I'm saying? As long as she's unattractive and don't take care of herself and don't have any quality about her, oh, it's okay. But I noticed that every single time, I have seen this even in school, in college, where we have discussions. It may be a psychology class where everybody talking about the kind of spouse they want. And Black women would say, oh, I want a man to be like this. White women say, oh, I want a man to be like this. Hispanic women, Asian women, Asian men, white men, uh, Hispanic men, Indian men. Everybody in that group can sit, sit up here and make statements talking about what kind of spouse they want. Let a black man sit up here and say something like, oh, I don't want a, I don't want a black woman. I want a, I want a, a non-black woman. It's a problem. Oh, I don't want a woman, she wearing short hair is a problem. But keep in mind, I have heard many black women and white women say some uh, offensive stuff. They say, oh, uh, well, a black, uh, uh, a man, he got he got to be over six foot tall. Oh, he can't be dark skinned. Oh, he got to be this color. Or I don't like light skinned men. Oh, he has to look like this. He got he got to have a, a certain kind of job. He can't eat this. He can't do that. Right. So they are allowed to sit up here and do that. Nobody questions them about their preferences. Nobody on the talk show sit up here and say that you are wrong. It's just like when a lot of these women, these black women and white women go on Maury and they end up messing with these thugs. They don't sit there. Maury don't sit there and question them or the crowd don't boo the women that sit up there and mess with that thug. They boo the man. 
And the man can sit up here and pass the paternity test, not be that child's father. Yeah, he still get booed. The woman should get booed. But we live in a society where these feminist women, they write about every single thing. And it's, and it's not right. And I don't understand these dating preferences, like, in the selective outrage when it comes to dating preferences. Why are women allowed to sit there and have these preferences? If they, And my thing is, like, people have the right to like what they want. If a man like a certain kind of woman, he has the right. If a woman like a certain kind of man, he has the right. Why is it that if a black man states that he wants a, a specific kind of woman, she could be black, white, Hispanic, whatever, why is it always an issue? Then you, then if it's come to interracial relationships between black men and white women, you got white men, not all, not all, but a lot, they get offended. Like, why are you dating her? Why are you dating her? Those are our white women. But most mo most times I see interracial couples, I have seen white men with every single race of women out there, and I, I see it consistently. They the main ones that's in interracial relationships, but people want to say that black men are the main ones doing it. No, nah, it's white men. But nobody questions them when it comes to their dating preferences. And, and, and if there's any white person uh, watching this or listening to this video, Comment under this video and explain why white men do not get criticized. Because I, I'm not talking about from a general standpoint. I'm talking about when it comes to like having specific preferences. Like if a white man say, oh, I want a woman to be petite and, and slender and got long hair. Why don't they get, why, why is it they don't get criticized? But when black men do it, it's an issue. If black men say, oh, white long hair, you got black women getting mad talking about, oh, you hate, you hate our natural. Oh, you hate the natural and all that? Why why you hate all that? You just like this one guy in college sat up there and made a say he said he don't like ghetto women. That's his prerogative. He don't have to sit up and like ghetto women, but he didn't say what color. He just said he didn't like ghetto women. This black woman gonna sit up here and say that she wanted to smack him upside his head. And keep in mind, this black woman is in her fifties in college saying this stuff to this young man. Talking about he talking about she wanna smack him upside the head in class. Cause he said he ain't like ghetto women. I don't. I don't want no ghetto woman either. I ain't ashamed to say that. I don't want no woman loud and out of control and and, and all that. I, I don't care. I, I don't want no ghetto woman. And they come in all kind of colors. I I I don't like all of that. That's just not my thing. But but it's okay. That woman can sit and say, "Oh, I want a man. He got to be tough and as nails. He can't be no geek and nurse." See, but but see, you don't want nobody to get offended uh, uh, when you say stuff like that. And it's all and it's one side and it's just nothing but selective outrage and double standards that women can have all these all these preferences. They can say, oh, a man got to be look like this. He got to have these muscles. He got to do X, Y and Z. If a man sit up and say uh, he want a particular uh, kind of woman, you, 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 you got women offended. Oh, that offended me. That offended me. That offended me. That's a shame. A man can't say, "Oh, I like, I, I want a particular woman with long hair, and she got, and she got to have a, you know, nice attra uh, attractive face, or she got to sit up here and uh, uh, have a slender bite." A man can't say that because you got big women getting offended. If if it's a racial preference, you got the your race getting offended, and, and you know what I'm saying if, if if you want the woman to have long hair, you got short hair women. They offended, and the feminist women they offended. So it's like, my God. My thing is, I don't care what people think, but I'm just trying to figure out why, why do you women who are, who are, who fit in this category, why do you get offended when a man says that he want a particular kind of woman, but you the same kind of woman that's saying that, oh, he can't be short, he got to be slim, or he got to have muscles, he can't be no geek or nerd, he got to be a thug, or he got to be a rich man, and it don't matter if you're a black woman saying this, a white woman, his man. Why is it that y'all get a pass? Y'all see, feel the need to get a pass when it comes to your preferences, but we can't get, black men can't get no pass. I'm talking about women in general. Because I'm defending, like in this video, I'm kind of defending black men, because black men, we, we, we are the most criticized of every single race of men. We are the most criticized when it comes to stuff like this. A black man can sit up here and state what he won't, and not try to offend nobody. He can sit up here and say, oh, I like white women, for example. I like white women. And he cannot say nothing bad about a black woman. He can say, yeah, black women are beautiful, but I like white women. You still got black women offended, talking about, oh, why, why, what about us? What's wrong with us? Oh, did a black woman hurt you and all that? 
It's like it's always something. It's like, my God, mind your own business. When you sit up here and say stuff like, oh, I want a thug, you, and somebody question you, you don't want nobody sitting up here criticizing you. You get mad if somebody question you. Or a white woman. Let's talk about white women. A white woman can go on Steve Harvey or Dr. Phil and all these other shows talking about she want a rich white man, a knight in shining armor. He got to be rich and, and, and have X, Y, and Z. Or if she want a black man, he got to be an athlete. He got to sit there and have muscles and play in the NFL or the NBA and make a lot of money. Oh, you feel the need not to get criticized because you white because you feel entitled to the best things in life just because you white. And I ain't saying every white woman like this, but you got a lot of white women that think like this, that come from wealthy backgrounds. They don't. They feel the need they don't get criticized. Of course, white men, they ain't going to get criticized no matter what they sit up here and do. But I don't understand, like, looking at these talk shows or in my personal life, if we have a discussion, it can be in any kind of setting, like a group discussion. You got different races, both men and women of different ethnicities and stuff. And you got black women, Hispanic women, black men and all that. Why is it when black men state, state something? Why do black women get offended? Why do everybody else got to get offended? As long as he ain't saying nothing bad about, like, let's say black women. As long as he ain't saying black women are, are horrible and all that. Yeah, he probably had bad experiences. But if he just talk about what he like. If he if he's saying he likes slim women, but he ain't say nothing about fat women was ugly. He's just saying I just like slim women. Why are you attacking him? And if you are a big woman, why are you sitting up here? Why do you want somebody that don't want you? That's the problem. Why I I don't understand people. You got some people they want to be matchmakers and talking about you need to date outside your preference. You need to expand and all that. First of all, mind your own business. That's why I would tell you, if I, if you came to me with that, mind your own business. I like what I like. It's just like with cars. I like Dodge. I don't like Ford and Chevy. I think Ford and Chevy are horrible when it comes to muscle cars, which they are. The Mustang and the Camaro is not touching the Dodge Challenger. My thing is I'm very specific and particular about things I like. I like white women. Yeah, I just don't like feminist, racist, fake, phony, Christian white women. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like white women. I just don't like white women who have certain characteristics like sneaky and, 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 and talking behind your back and doing negative racist stuff and, and, and uh, looking uncomfortable around you and acting uncomfortable around you and all that. And I'm the kind of white woman I don't like. I like a particular kind of white woman. You know what I'm saying? She genuine. She don't talk behind your back. She take care of herself. She into fitness. She a Christian. That's the kind of woman I like. And I shouldn't have to explain why I like white women. That's none of your business. For you, for you people talk, who want to be critical and talking about what's wrong with black women, it, it ain't nothing wrong with black women. That's not my cup of tea. I don't have to like black women. I can I, I like them as friends and family. That's it. I don't got to like them like them. That's my prerogative. I like what I like. I naturally like white women. And white men who, who don't like that, I don't give a crap what you say either. I don't care what white people got to say about it. And, and black, you pro-blacks, I don't care what you got to say about it. Because as far as I know, you white people and black people who, are, who who don't like me saying that, you can kick rocks. I don't care about what you think. I don't. And, and black men need to have this mentality like, oh, I don't care about what you think. This is how I see it. But y'all, y'all, y'all critics and stuff that, that, that had this selective outrage, y'all, y'all need to stop. Because y'all know doggone well when women sit up state these preferences and they do it all the time on these talk shows and even in school and all that, whether it's in Hollywood or in, in, in uh, normal life, they 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 make all kind of statements at the salon. They talking about all oh, the man he can't look like this. I don't like no geeky nerdy black man. I don't want him. Oh, I don't like guys that that feet smell. He can't eat pork. All this crazy stuff. It's okay for you to say that. It's okay. For you to say he got to have a large bank account, it's okay for you to say that. But if a black man sit up here and, and, and say something, then it's, it's a problem amongst black women, white people and everybody else, because the black man is the most criticized of every single uh, ethnicity out there. And that's not no that's not no uh, that's not a false statement. That, those are facts because it's been proven time and time again. My thing is. In closing, stop criticizing black men. Before you criticize a black man, you better be criticizing white guys because they, they sit up and date any, any, everybody. But I don't see black women, white women, or anybody else criticizing them on these talk shows. Y'all don't call them out when they say stuff. Well, why do y'all have to call black men out?
But I, I, that's all I got to say. Peace out.